Hello and welcome to MB Tech. Today is going to be an interesting day. We're actually going to be installing ESXi, uh, the Raspberry Pi version, or what they call the uh, ARM fling, uh, onto a Raspberry Pi 4 uh, with 8 gig of RAM. I mean, to me, this is pretty interesting. Uh, they just came out with a new version that just came out on the 15th of June. It's 1.4. Uh, it's pretty easy to set up. Um, this is actually the interface uh, of it installed on a Raspberry Pi 4 uh, in my lab. Um, from here, you can see I actually got a, a VM here. It's actually a CentOS 8 uh, version uh, running with VMware tools and everything else in there. I think it's pretty cool. I mean, to think that you can put all this information or an ESXi on a, a Raspberry Pi is, is pretty uh, pretty amazing. Um, I've also got it set up to where I'm actually collected, connected to my uh, NFS server. Um, so within my NFS server, you can see that uh, I've got different uh, ISOs as well as different VMs on there. Um, just kind of showing the, the final or finished product. Uh, we'll go through the setup real quick. Um, there's actually on the uh, ESXi ARM edition. Uh, if you go here, you're going to have to uh, accept the license and stuff. But you can download the PDF document. And once you have that PDF document, it will go through a lot of the steps uh, that I'm talking about as well. But I just want to do a quick, you know, install so you can see it. But this really goes into some really good detail. I highly recommend that you download that file. Um, it shows how to, uh, you know, do iSCSI as well if you want to. Um, I'm just doing NFS to make it real easy as well as some local storage. Uh, so from that, we'll actually go in and uh, boot up the Raspberry Pi. We'll do a quick install, and then uh, we'll connect it to the NFS share, and then we'll have some VMs and everything. We'll have a Raspberry Pi running the uh, ASXi ARM fling, which is, you know, pretty amazing in itself, and we can go from there. Uh, thank you, and let's get started with the install. Okay, uh, right now we've actually booted up. I've got a serial connection to my Raspberry Pi because I don't have another monitor that I can share the screen and record it without being uh, an external camera. Um, but what we're going to need to do is go in and actually, uh, once it boots up, go into Device Manager. And once we're in Device Manager, uh, we can go to the Raspberry Pi configuration. Um, on that Raspberry Pi configuration, we want to go to advanced configuration and in there we want to uh, disable the limit RAM to 3 gig. Um, once you do that, what's going to allow that, what that's going to allow is uh, when you're on the main screen, you'll see at the very top right here that we've got 8 gig of RAM because this is the 8 gig version of the Raspberry Pi 4. If not, that limitation would have made it 3 gig. So we want to make sure we have the most memory possible. Uh, next thing what we want to do is uh, go into our uh, boot manager. And then from our boot manager, we want to make sure that we're booting off from our USB uh, thumb drive that has the ISO that we downloaded and burned to the drive itself. Um, so you select that. And it'll start loading that up. Um, and this is very similar to a regular uh, install of uh, ESXi. It'll take a little bit of time. Okay, now we're at the initial start screen to install the ESXi on uh, arm fling on the Raspberry Pi. What we'll do here is we'll hit enter. Next screen, we'll uh, hit F11 to accept and continue. Um, right now, it's actually scanning for available devices. Uh, the only device that it'll show up on here is actually the USB key that we install or that we're installing from. So you will need another USB key, and I've got one here. It's a, just a 32 gig uh, SanDisk cruiser. You can use a 16 gig. You can use whatever size you would like, um, and that's what's actually going to get installed too. So basically, your system will boot up, go off from the SD card, uh, and then boot off from the USB uh, thumb drive that you install or install the SXI onto. So we'll, we're going to uh, stick this into the uh, USB. And then we're going to hit F5 to refresh. And once we hit F5 to refresh, we should see that second drive. And now we can see that we do have that second drive. And it says that it's 29.82 gig. Um, so that's the 32 gig one. And we're going to select that one. And we're going to hit Enter to continue. It's gathering in for other information from this device. 
Um, here it uh, found that I actually had a ESXi uh, installed on there before. Um, but what we're going to do this time is we're actually going to overwrite this. Uh, for yours, you might not have this pop up. You're just going to use the whole disk um, for that. Uh, and then we'll hit enter for OK. And also a keyboard, US default, root password. This is going to be how you log into the web interface. Uh, make sure it is a password. I think it's got to be eight characters long. Put, you know, a special character or something in there. It can't be very basic or it'll have you redo it. Um, so we'll put in our password. Checking it, and then the installer is configured to install uh, the 7.0 on the second uh, drive that we installed there. Um, so it will part repartition it, format it, don't put it, and make sure you don't have anything on there that you really want or that you've already removed. And we hit 11 to install, and it uh, will install ESXi on this uh, Raspberry Pi. Okay, it appears that our uh, ESXi is up on our Raspberry Pi 4. Uh, we've got 8 gig of memory available, and my management IP address is 192.168.144. So now we'll go into a browser and go to that IP address. Put our password in that we had it earlier, and we are in. We've got ESXi running on this uh, Raspberry Pi, which is pretty interesting. Um, here we've got our networking, uh, which we can see we got our network uh, storage here. Since there's no local storage, or at least we have not set up local storage, uh, you could either install another USB drive um, to add that storage. Uh, you could also connect to NFS, which I have got currently set up for. Uh, the setup that I have. Um, so here we can go and say new data store. Um, it says create a new VS data store. We're going to say mount an NFS data store. Put next uh, name. We're just going to call it uh, API for NFS. Uh, server is going to be 10.14.1.25. So that's what it is on my network. And then the share name, I can't remember, but I can go to my uh, free NAS server um, that I've got set up. And here I can go into my uh, sharing and NFS. And then here I can see what the mount point is for my Raspberry Pi. And hit next and finish. And there's my Raspberry Pi. Uh, NFS so now storage shows that I have that and then inside of here we can see that I've got two ISOs I've got one for CentOS one for Ubuntu and then here are two previous uh, systems that I've set up in here and what's kind of neat about this is you can actually import so I can click on this one here and uh, register VM close from my virtual machines, and there's the one that I just registered, pulled in, and then I can start it. And we can see that it's starting up in a little bit. We will have a CentOS 8 box. That's pretty much it. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Again, this is Matthew Bingham with MB Tech. If you would, please subscribe. And uh, hope you enjoyed this. I'll have a lot more coming down the pipeline. I'll actually show how I set up uh, setting up the console so that you can SSH in using PuTTY on a uh, COM port instead of uh, by uh, IP address. Um, just so I can show this video to you guys a little bit. And uh, all different sorts of things that we'll be doing the Raspberry Pi. Thank you and have a good day.